Will you take away my beard and my mustache? We'll have to go get that wax. It will all be gone. Yes. <laughs> Good morning to you, the birds are chirping. Okay, let me zoom this in, because I'm kind of tired. Today, I'm going to be going to get a facial because my skin just does not want to cooperate with me. You know, I just feel like I've just been slightly depressed I don't know. I just feel like I've just been like working nonstop. Okay, zoom out. <laughs> I just feel like I've been working nonstop, like nonstop, seven days a week. I don't feel like I've taken a day to myself. Um, if I'm not making wigs for clients, I feel like I'm doing YouTube. If I'm not doing YouTube, I feel like I'm making wigs for clients. So um not only do i live in my own my house but i feel like i work in my house and i feel like i never have like a getaway so right now i'm kind of on some like mental depressing shit so that's why i haven't really been making like a video like videos on youtube i haven't you know like i just feel like i just need to get back to being happy and motivated and i also feel like I am one to get stress acne and I think that that's kind of what's going on right now. I feel like my skin is reacting to stress because I'm very stressed to hell. I'm very stressed out right now. So I originally was supposed to have my um, breast reduction surgery this past Monday. I switched my surgery to later in July just because I just signed my contract for a PR agency. So it doesn't make sense to me for me to sign on to basically now have my name put out there and do more PR and appearances and like red carpets and stuff like that for me to not be able to do shit because I'm recovering from surgery for like a whole entire month. Like that just doesn't make any sense to me. So I think it just makes better sense to go at the end of July, beginning of August. I kind of want to go after BeautyCon because I um, got asked to go to BeautyCon LA and I've never been to BeautyCon so you know this is my first time so it's like let me just finish out the entire summer first and then maybe you know try to get the surgery like the end of August beginning of September since that's kind of when summer really dies down um it's okay like I can always get the surgery anytime so let me get out of here I'm just going to take you guys on a pampering self-therapeutic type of journey today because I need to get my head in order because I'm all over the damn place. So yeah. <laughs> all right, we're we're alive. I look crazy. Okay guys, so say hi to Sonia. Hi. She's the owner. She specifically set this day for me. <laughs> okay, so today I I was supposed to get a Hydra planning facial, but I told Sonia to just get give me whatever she think is good for my skin. So we got some hyperpigmentation going on around here and a mustache and beard. But she said that she thinks that we should still do the dermal planning, but probably do something else. So I'm just going to let her talk because this is what she does. So, yeah. Okay. So excuse the surgeon's mask, but for safety reasons, we always cover ourselves up because we don't want to spread germs, right? Yes. Okay. So this is what I see. Build up, hyperventation, a little bit of fuzzies. Everybody's got build up. It's something that naturally occurs on our faces once every 28 days our skin cycles and if we don't help slough it off, it builds up. So, fuzzies. Everybody's got some fuzzies. It's called vellus hair. We can take that off with dermaplaning. But what dermaplaning is going to do is not only is it going to address the vellus hair and the peach fuzz build up, but it's going to safely exfoliate an even layer of the keratonic skin cells off the top, the dead top layer of your epidermis. And what this does is it brightens your, it brightens your complexion. It allows for deeper penetration of the products that we're going to put on the skin so they kind of work like double time. And then of course it smooths everything out so that if you are wearing makeup, it glides on like butter. Or if you're not, you just look glowy and dewy and fresh. Yes, everyone's talking about the makeup application afterwards. I'm excited. 
Hyperpigmentation is one of the hardest things to get rid of, but it's not impossible. It just requires consistency. Consistently seeing your esthetician and consistently using the products and home care that are recommended to you. So that's what I see for today. A hydroplating facial, we could do a hydrofacial, or we could do something that's specifically pigmented, <laughs> specifically <laughs> geared towards um, the hyperpigmentation. But I think that still doing a hydroplaning facial would be right for you. Okay, yeah. so then let's do that. Okay. So let's do it. All right, let's get started. She thinks I'm crazy, you guys. I like you. <laughs> You're fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Will you take away my beard and my mustache? Well, I think we'll get that wax. It will all be gone. Yes. Wait, so then do I still have to get it waxed or no? No. Not no? Today. Not today, you won't. No. Oh. Look at these curls. She has done everything. I mean, everyone, you guys. I first found her on Instagram because she did Michelle Williams. And then she did a couple other celebrities. And I was like, yeah, she's a shit. I need to come to her. I do everybody, not just celebrities. Oh. She does everyone. Well, I'm not a celebrity, so. Yes, you are. No, You're I'm not. You're YouTube sensation. I shit. And it was just history from there. It's pretty amazing. What's this? This is just washing your face. This is the oh. cleanse. <laughs> I actually had to go get all my piercings taken out. Okay. How come? The surgery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll need everything out. Are you excited for the surgery? I am. I'm ready to look my freaking natural size. And sometimes people want bigger and sometimes they want smaller. I know smaller. everyone keeps saying you are making about to get surgery to take them off and people are going to get surgery to put them on. It'd be nice if you could donate your boobs. Right? Like to, to somebody in need. Like to a woman in need who wants bigger. <laughs> <laughs> well now they're like letting you put your fat in your boobs now. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that's interesting. It is interesting. That's actually, I feel like that would be better. Mm, I don't know. Never had fat transfer to my boobs. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend's mom had that done. She love it? I, they look natural to me. Mm. How does it make it perky though? That's, you know, like. I believe a lift. I think she okay. got a, the fat put in and then it got a lift done too. Okay. How long have you been doing this? Aesthetics and skincare? Oh, um, 14 years? Wow. Yeah. Always been very, very particular about skin in general. So, I just have to make a career out of it. You've always done it in Philly? No, um, prior to this, I actually owned a chain of canning salons and every esthetician out there is cringing right now that I said that, but <laughs> <laughs> but just like alcohol consumption or anything else, moderation, everything in moderation. Yeah. You know, think about what happened if there was no more sun, the whole planet would die. We need sun, we need sunshine. We just don't necessarily need that on our face, but we need vitamin D in the purest form comes from the sun or UV light. Yeah. What's this? This is a toner. So it may have a little bit of a tingle to it. It's not good or bad if it does or doesn't. It just helps me to gauge your sensitivity. Yeah, so no, if you feel anything, tingle. let me know. On a scale of one to 10, no matter how slight. I'm tough. You're tough. <laughs> OMG. I'm so excited. Isn't the hydrofacial when they get the little machine and they suck things out? Yeah, this is a hydrofacial. There are many imitations of it, but this is the real deal, the real hydrofacial. I'm so excited. You are going to love it. All right, so. Interesting, right? Let's see, it's not only taking the hair off, you can like visibly see where your skin is wow. gonna exfoliate away. There's all different kinds of blades that you can use. It's all a matter of preference of your esthetician or physician or nurse who's ever performing it. I'm glowing.
Bye bye, Foxies. I have a whole beard. Just a little bit of fuzzies. You're not bad. Look how much hair was on my face. Zoom into this. Dead skin. You guys see that? So, because you have some discoloration, we're going to throw in a little brighten all. So that's going to help uh, the discoloration to fade away. Oh, wait, this is a, like custom to you. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, we already wow. cleaned and we dermal played. We did all that. So, we're going to go right into the exfoliation method. You might feel a little bit of tingling with this since we just took that dead layer off the top. Nothing crazy. Any tangle? No. Is that just water? Yeah, this is active for solutions. It's kind of like priming your skin, opening it up, cleaning it up. For the hydrogen. Oh, this is all the hydrofacial. Oh, pfft. yeah, this whole thing is a hydrofacial. Oh, okay. Once that machine gets turned on, it's a hydrofacial. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, what, quite, what part of this? Like this? Yeah. So this is all high. Hydrofacial is an actual machine that does it a facial in a very specific way. By suction and different kinds of ingredients. Uses a, a cleaning mechanism and then it has glycolic to help exfoliate and some antioxidants but we're adding a brightenol booster into yours specifically because of your discoloration oh yeah pretty cool huh? mm -hmm. all right is the steam going to be okay mm -hmm. all right let me know if it's too much How does this feel? Is it too much? Too aggressive? No, 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 it's fine. Okay. Right now it's getting all the dead skin cells that might have been left behind by the dermaplaning off. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is the steam okay with the camera? Yeah, no, it's fine. I notice how you're going upwards. Is that like a thing? Gravity. Um, mm -hmm. So you always want to go up, except when men go down because of their beards. Oh. So that way you're lifting and not tugging down on the skin because gravity unfortunately will do that for us. So try to fight it any way we can. Are you tingling with this? Yeah, a little bit. You scale it on your time average rate. That's two. I feel like the steam helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. I like the steam with it. It just makes the whole thing slip a little bit nicer. How's your face feel right now? Amazing. I feel like you have to get both. You can't just get the dermal planning and that's it. Total preference on what the skin needs. But I agree. I like the dermal planning with it too. So this will get apply any place where there is like darker spots. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do some LED lights. 
So LED light was actually like kind of figured out by, not kind of, but actually figured out by a NASA scientist that discovered that different colors of light with different wavelengths actually have properties that are useful in the beauty world. So blue light over here kills acne and bacteria, while this wave of red light helps with anti-aging and redness, just making us more youthful, stimulate collagen and all the other stuff that we need to keep us young and beautiful. See, all the YouTube videos I've seen, I didn't see anyone do this. <laughs> Is this like your thing or everyone really pretty much does this? Um, I hope that other estheticians do this. I know other estheticians do it and this is part of a hydrofacial. Uh -huh. So, but I throw LED light into all of my facials just about because I just think it's a nice way to end it. Mm. My skin looks so glowy. Mm -hmm. My gosh, it looks so much better than it did. I feel like my problem was like the buildup. That's everybody. Everybody has build up. You know, some people are either not exfoliating enough or they're overly exfoliating once or twice a week. You can just see the difference. Mm -hmm. Trash. Just some trash. Yeah. At least you're here today. Gotta start Seriously. somewhere. I had to start somewhere because now I'm making money. Before I was fucking broke. It's called your 20s. You get youth, but you get no money. It's a trade. When you're older, you're older, but you got money. Hopefully, if you've done it right. I can't afford this. <laughs> I cannot afford it anymore. See what working hard does, you guys. Work hard. Like, less celebrity. Joking, I'm not a damn celebrity. How long do you do this for? 10 minutes or so. 10 minutes? Different parts of the face. It be a small or a short if you would like. But at least 10 minutes. Guys, I gotta come back. I can't hold this for 10 minutes. We'll come back when everything's done. <laughs> okay, so I just got home because I want it to beat the rain because it's gonna be like raining like the entire time, like all night. So I just wanted to hurry up and get back to Jersey beforehand. So this is how my skin is looking it looks so glowy and hydrated i did go ahead and spray some hydrating toner on let me show you guys what she actually gave me in my little um gift packet thing hold on all right so um let me show you guys everything that i got in my little packet that she gave me so um i know one thing about it is when it comes to esthetician, estheticians, I know everyone is different because every, oh, I gotta stop touching my face. Everyone offers you something different, okay? So whatever, I guess, whatever skincare they feel like um, introducing to their clients or promoting, that's just what they're gonna do. Usually it's always like dermatologist type of brands and, you know, real super expensive skincare, so. As far as my esthetician, well now she's about to be my forever esthetician because she shit. Um, she has PCA skin in her office. So she gave me like this little sample packet like this. And um, because I had all this stuff done to my skin, I have to use this for three days until Friday. Um, and then she gave me other things to use afterwards. So there's a cleanser in here, an acne cream, an intensive clarifying treatment, a SPF, and then a moisturizer. So she pretty much just gave me like a whole little regimen to do um, moving forward. And then she also gave me some more little samples. She gave me a hydrating toner, which... Am I focused? Oh, which she, which I did spray on my face when I was in a car because I felt like my skin was so tight. Um, that most likely is because I went and got the facial done, so it took off all my dead skin and all that stuff. Um, I am oily, so it was kind of crazy that my skin was so tight and dry. Um, most likely because I got this facial and it took off literally everything on my face. So in the car, I did go ahead and spray some hydrating toner. And then she also gave me a vitamin C serum. She gave me a an rejuvenating serum, which I don't really think I'm going to use that one. She also gave me a pigment gel, which I should use for my hyperpigmentation. She gave me 
uh, SPF. So there's two. There's one in the packet and then there's this one. She told me that I'll most likely end up using the sheer tint. Um, and then she also told me about an SPF, which I don't think it's new. I just ordered it online like a few seconds ago, but it's called Black Girl Sunscreen. Like it's dead ass. That's what the name is. So um, I went ahead and ordered that online. It's, I think the website is just www.blackgirlsunscreen.com um, because I think that that's really what a lot of african-american girls are using right now as far as sunscreen so she recommended that to me so i put in that order um a few minutes ago um i will also leave that down below like i said in the beginning of the video i will leave all her information her name is sonia she is the owner of it um so i will leave sonia down below i don't know if sonia is going to be super available um i know she's all booked for july as of now um so yeah i mean it doesn't hurt to like reach out i will put their instagram down below as well but moving forward most likely i'm about to be going to her because she's just so freaking informative look at my skin you already see a difference like my skin tone definitely looks a lot lighter like probably one shade up I don't have so much congestion and you know build up on my skin I can definitely say that but my skin is damn well freaking glowy and you don't see any it's just bomb it's just so freaking bomb I'm so happy with it I have like so many lashes to fulfill and ship off so I think I got like 90 something lashes to put in boxes and thank you guys so much for the support I know I always say it on my Instagram but some people don't follow me on Instagram so yeah I'm gonna say it on here thank you guys so much for the support as far as my business fairystylish.com if you guys do not know I do have a brand called Ilora and Fairy Stylish is my um wig and bundles thank you guys so much for the support because I know I just put up a sale as far as lashes um, a day ago and then we're all sold out and I had at least 96 lashes to sell and we sold out in one day like that's crazy so thank you guys always for giving me so much support I just freaking love you guys so much and yeah I hope to see you guys in my next video I do feel a lot better um and yeah you just gotta kind of take time just take time out to just be do what you want to do take time out to just have a day for yourself i think that was my problem i'm always working seven days a week i never had time to just sit and just chill by myself so you know i just feel like it's definitely much needed so um yeah i will be back i promise like now i'm really going to be back so yeah i love you guys thank you always for the support the thank you guys always for supporting me and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys.